Greetings friends, this is Jason Yeldell of Yeldell Scientific. We are a software development firm based out of New Jersey that provides custom software, apps, macros, templates, and solutions for various industries ranging from medical and pharmaceutical to game design and development. Today I wanted to showcase one of the newest Windows-based applications for your PC or laptop entitled as My Game Library that I'm sure anyone who enjoys collecting titles and organizing video game titles and even playing their games will enjoy. For this software, we actually chose to design it in Microsoft Excel as an add-in that uses Visual Basic as the processing engine due to its simplicity, ease of use, robustness, and availability. We have seen various other softwares out there that cater to video game and hobby collecting and organization, but we felt that they were all lacking when it came to simplicity, ease of use, and some novel features such as the ability to actually play ROMs that you have saved on your PC or laptop. So basically, the My Game Library application is a Microsoft Excel add-in that allows you to catalog, organize, keep track of, and visually view your video game collection all in a few mouse clicks. It contains a built-in database of retro and current generation games, allows you to assign and view box art, and more importantly, functions as an all-encompassing video game emulation engine and virtual console because it allows you to actually play your ROMs via emulation. Amazingly, all of this occurs right from within Microsoft Excel. To get started, from the home screen, we simply click on a system that we want to view. For example, I can select Nintendo Entertainment System. Immediately, I'm brought to my NES game collection. We can see that I currently have 27 titles in my collection. Because the My Game Library engine is built off of Excel, we can somewhat see what's going on in the background. It houses a sheet where titles are continually sorted alphanumerically and shown on the user interface along with their box art. Each title has various metadata fields that can be populated in order to better help you organize your games and keep track of various items. For example, I can enter a dollar value for each game and ultimately yield a net worth of my entire collection. In addition, I can also log the genre or my current game progress to keep track of where I am with the game and if there's any current backlog of games that I need to complete. Any gamer out there knows that you don't want to get swamped with starting new titles before you actually beat your previous ones. This allows you to do just that and keep track of everything in a handy, very pretty, slick user interface. It also has a neat search engine that allows you to search against metadata fields or keywords. For example, I can just click search. Uh, and enter the word Metroid. I can see that one title is found and it will display the box art. This is a game that I have currently in my collection. I could play it right now if I wanted to at the click of a button. Likewise, clicking the Statistics button will generate a report in Notepad detailing your games and your current progress with them. Adding a new game to your game library is incredibly simple. Simply select the Add New Games icon and then select the game title or enter the game title. This is a pre-populated database of every possible game title that exists for retro systems. It all contains a comprehensive database for current generation titles for current generation systems. So if I wanted to enter Galaga as a new game, I could simply start typing Galaga and you can see that it will automatically populate because it contains over a thousand titles within the database. But I'll leave it as Galaga. There's also the metadata fields that are optional at this point. I can later back enter, back enter this information whenever I feel up to it. I'll click Save Updates. I now see that Galaga has been added to my game library. If at any time I want to refresh or change the box art, I can simply click on the Google button next to box art URL. This will automatically integrate with Google Image Search and find an appropriate JPEG link to a new box art.
clicking refresh will now show the new box art according to the link that was provided. And there we have it. It's that simple and that fun uh, to manage your game collection. A great feature of the My Green Library add-in is that it allows you to view all of your collected titles and box art in one mouse click. Simply clicking on View Gallery will generate a virtual gaming shelf showcasing all of your collected titles for a given system. Amazingly, all of this is done right from within Microsoft Excel. Notice how they're automatically alphanumerically sorted for easy cataloging. It's also very nice to look at. And it's kind of fun to add titles one by one and watch your collection grow. Now all of this is beneficial and convenient enough, but where My Game Library Excel add-in really shines and separates itself from the competition is that it has a built-in emulator and ROM support engine that allows you to browse your game library and titles via their box art and then simply select the title and launch it with the appropriate emulator so that you can play it on the spot from your PC or laptop. So if I wanted to play Faxanadu, I select it and just simply click play on emulator. Likewise, if I wanted to play Galaga, I simply select Galaga and then click Play on Emulator. It's that simple. Some other titles we can check out. Rygar. Shadowgate, that's a favorite. It's very convenient having instant access to these game titles. For the next few moments, I'll jump in and out of a few other systems in my collection and view my library of games and play some of them. This will give you an idea of how easy and fun it is to use the My Game Library Excel add-in.
can sort of see quickly what it does when you launch the emulator it populates the file open dialog with the name of the ROM that you want to play and then automatically clicks the open button so it just automates all the tasks that you would normally do uh, manually but pulls it all together cohesively within one great Excel add-in sucker for the FMV games. it couldn't find that so it's probably a misspelling within the name of the ROM compared to the way that it's spelled within the my game library that's no problem we can easily fix that here we can see that the actual name of the title is night trap but the actual name of the ROM that's stored on my machine is night trap disk one dot ISO so we simply need to make sure that these names are in sync in order for the macro to automatically find the appropriate title and launch it. And let's try that again and see what happens. Oh, couldn't find it again so I think it's also an error with the path so let's troubleshoot this uh, this is good for everyone to see because these types of issues will possibly occur but let's all work it out together so let's see it's looking at this location but I think the ROM is located here so it's a mapping issue as well so we see that it is there so now that we've adjusted the mapping of the emulator and the names of the title to match the actual name of the ROM Let's try it a third time. Yeah, that looks about right. So there's little quirks here and there, but that's sort of the charm and the fun of making sure that you have everything mapped appropriately. Um, it's normally a one-time setup, and then it's no problem after that. I'm kind of running through this very quickly, so I kind of was lax on certain things and didn't make sure that my paths were set up appropriately. But it's an easy fix but the system does give you that level of customization uh, to make sure that everything is running as you want it to and here is Night Trap this is an excellent game because I'm just a sucker for the old school retro FMV games so we see that we do have access to it we can play it on the spot from within Microsoft Excel by calling the appropriate emulator so let me jump out of this and let's check out another one I also like uh, Turbo Graphics. These are great games. And I have Bonk's Adventure. I really love that title. So again, like the metadata, if I wanted to say this game is worth, you know, twelve dollars, I could do that and save. And now when I go into my statistics. I can see that my net worth for TurboGrafx-16 games is $17.99 because I have two titles, one worth $12 and one worth $5.99. And again, you can update the box art as you need by clicking the Google icon next to box art URL. And if you ever wanted to, you can view your entire game library across all systems by click clicking the link at the bottom saying, view your complete video game collection gallery and this will show you all of your box art so this is also fun to show off with fun to look at and fun to browse through to figure out which game you want to play next and everything is alphanumerically sorted by system so you can see your own evolution of games here I have a lot of Super Nintendo titles I have to update the box art on a few of these it's just a matter of clicking the button and making sure I get the appropriate JPEG for the box art 
but it lets you know. And if you mouse over, you can see what title it is, Boxing Legends of the Ring. So when you go into that system, you'll just update the box art. I have a lot of Super Nintendo titles. So let's see what else we have here. We have our, uh, yeah, Game Boy Advance. I love that Metroid game. Gauntlet, Ghouls and Ghosts, those are all excellent titles. You can't forget Michael Jackson's Moonwalker, along with Lion King. That's also a good game. And there you have it. This is pretty much the how the Excel add-in called My Game Library functions for Windows, for your laptop or PC. Now, another benefit of this is that you, in, if you place this add-in in a Dropbox folder or Evernote folder, you basically have access to it from any computer or any device that has access to Dropbox and Evernote. So also keep that in mind. Yeah, you can't forget Kasumi Ninja. That's a good one. So thanks a lot for watching, and this actual add-in is available for download off of the Payloads site, that's P-A-Y-L-O-A-D-Z, and you can just enter the store and do a search for My Game Library. So thank you all for watching, and if you like this type of stuff, feel free to give a like, a comment, or even a subscribe. Uh, we'll keep this kind of content coming. Thanks a lot.